Hey guys, welcome to the Lord, and we're talking about anime, manga, and everything in between. Today, we're talking about Dragon Ball Super, and yes, this is going to be a special episode as we uh, discuss on um, why Goku is or is not evil. Well, you guys, the obvious question here is Goku evil. We got a lot of situations where we will automatically state Goku isn't evil. But as we've seen in this latest episode, that's all by perspective, um, lack of information, and stuff like that. And if we go into it, you can think about it in a more of a bigger aspect. Maybe Vegeta and Nappa were actually good guys, just the uh, fact that they were part of an army created a illusion that they were evil in the first place. Think of it this way, Freeze is going around conquering areas and making an empire for himself. This empire being uh, where there's no war except for what he in turn causes himself. Sure the, sure, the aspect of Frieza could be considered evil, except for if his empire actually was a good empire, like where there was no war, everything seemed to be in place, and people didn't fight amongst each other because they had Frieza there. As time moves on, we see this uh, destruction of the same planet, which could have easily fueled Vegeta's rage in the first place, along with Nappa's. That's why they were going from planet to planet, conquering and destroying. Hearing that Kak Kakarot was on Earth, they went straight there to pick it up. Yes, they may not have the best moral standing, but that does not necessarily make them evil. Goku defending his planet can be construed as a good thing, but that's only from the perspective of the people living on the planet, of the, over them facing off against an opponent. It, it could have been easily construed as they were there to help out the planet in the end by taking Kakarot with them and conquering more planets and automatically making that planet a part of their system. We can continue following on to an evil, we feel is an evil act, but not really that much of an evil act in the first place. Frieza on... Stop there, stop. Namek. And this can be construed as not evil because he went there to pick up the Dragon Balls to become immortal to keep his empire lasting for centuries, generations, for time to come. He wasn't there for any malicious intent in the first place. The only time he fought was when they weren't giving up the Dragon Balls. So in that aspect, he wasn't trying to kill off the Numekians. He was actually just trying to get the Dragon Balls, use them, and be out of there. From what we learned later on, Frieza went on to destroy planet after planet for his own fun, his own thrive. He wanted to do it for himself, just to destroy them, but the biggest thing when it came down to the same planet is he was had a fear of being overthrown because of a legendary Super Saiyan being overthrown as the ruling emperor, making him not evil, but defensive. Yes, uh, Frieza did kill Krillin, but Goku was attacking Frieza. They, the group was attacking Frieza in the first place and doing things like that. Vegeta was in on it too, do attacking as well, like a little rebellion going on there. As we move throughout the season though, Goku takes out Frieza but uh, gives him the kindness of he can still live. But Frieza being hurt at this point, prideful, just wants to get rid of this potential danger uh, to his empire in the first place. Goku finally finishing him off came, uh, and going back to uh, a little later for the Android Saga. But the thing with the Android Saga is Dr. Jerome was a rival army for the Earth and he was trying to take over the Earth just like the other army was trying to take over the Earth. But Goku destroyed all of those plans. Which led Dr. Jiro to create androids to kill off the biggest threat Earth's ever had, Goku. Creating android after android, setting them after him one at a time. Uh, he was just trying his best to save the planet from something that could potentially be even worse. Yes, we see Goku on who he is now and what he becomes and what he does. 
But are these evil actions, or good actions, or potentially is he doing things instinctively because of his sane heritage? There's a lot when it comes down to the theories and uh, everything that really comes down to the whole situation at hand. Goku protects the Earth countless numbers of times, and the new government in place has accepted and doesn't even see him at all. Never sees Goku, but they take Herko as a savior instead. Earth obviously knows that there is a person out there that's been saving them countless times because it's been in the news several times over and over again. But that's not my uh, thing here. My thing is, is Goku evil? Perspectively, from our perspective and what we know from Goku, he isn't. He is a good caring guy who wants to protect his family and protect the earth himself. But from his actions though, they speak louder than what he wants to do. His ignorance gets in the way so many times that it's not even funny and puts the earth in danger ten times over. That's the only reason Cell and the androids got made in the first place, because he got into something he shouldn't have even been in. Without uh, Goku, the Capsule Corp would have probably sub uh, pushed Dro down and made sure that they were not a power at all after a while, but not as quickly as Goku took them away, which means that we wouldn't have this mad scientist building and getting more advanced in his android te uh, technology to push it even harder so they can get even stronger than Goku himself. Goku the Saiyans may have come to Earth way later on. Raditz came to Earth to get Goku, because that's where he was sent. And then when Stratus died, the other two Saiyans came in to get Goku, and maybe destroy the planet on top of that just because of what Goku's done in the first place. Now in Dragon Ball Super, he has the potential of destroying the universe. Whether it's a self-fulfilling prophecy or not in this situation, Goku seems to put the Earth and the universe in danger time after time again, talking to the god of gods, the god of the universes himself, and being friendly with him and bringing another god into the mix of universes. Without Goku, there would not have been a Zamasu that would have tried to destroy the universe itself. Technically, Trunks started that one, but if Trunks didn't go back in time for Goku, then Zamasu would never have done what he did. We can keep going to these uh, aspects as time goes on, and if we go from the future timelines aspect, the universe wasn't in danger recently. They, it wasn't going to be deleted right away. They had a lot of time to get uh, do what they needed to do because he didn't destroy the universe. But Goku progressively made that a lot quicker with the racing tournament. The Tournament Survivor Arc situation. He made it worse. Because his glee for fighting and wanting a tournament in the first place may not have been what he wanted for them to destroy things, but a tournament in general. But he still caused the adverse effect here. So I think what we need to talk about is Is Goku evil? No. Personality wise, what he uh, tries to do, no, he's not evil. That, that's obvious to us. But, ask again, is Goku evil? Yes. And the way he perceives what he does and his ignorance for the people around him and what's actually going on. And not understanding a situation before hopping into it. He is definitely evil in that aspect. But that's not to say that Goku's doing it on purpose. It's obviously an unconscious thing. So his unconscious mind is evil. He thrives on battle, he pushes things further than they need to go, and then he even tries to get people to battle with him when he shouldn't. But what do you guys think? I, I can go either way on the Goku side of evil or good, but me, I feel hardly feel Goku is good, but he has so many stupid uh, things that he ends up doing, just not even paying attention, and it's just one thing that gets annoying as time goes on because he causes the danger that ends up happening so he's good but he's not smart 
I mean, if Goku took responsibility and uh, his, uh, and the repercussion of actions he's done, it'd be a completely different story. But he doesn't, and he's actually joyful that people want to try to challenge him more and more. And if you ever see an evil villain that succeeded in what he does, he's not as he's not fulfilled until somebody's challenging him and trying to get stronger to challenge him more. We need to snuff that out before it becomes dangerous. No, no, I'm gonna let them build. I want the thrill of the fight. But yes, tell me you guys' thoughts on this. Goku? Me? No. But at the same point in time, I can see why. So until next time you guys, I hope you guys have a great day and a fun one as well.